Previously on Scream Queens, the competition for a role in the horror blockbuster Saw 3D got hot. Oh my Jesus! But tempers got hotter. Want to bring it? Bring it right here. You just want to argue. Come down, Hurricane Gabby. I just f***ing hate Ty. As the house divided, pinning Gabby, Allison, and Christine against the others. I never say anything about anything. Gabby's inability to take direction. Cut again on a technical level. It's hitting the marks. Sent her to the bottom, too. But it was Allison's bug out in the challenge. Cut again. Watch the wide eyes. That got her the X. Tonight, the girls learn that dying is easy, but comedy is hard. Stay in it. <laughs> Gabby attempts to rise from the dead, but the others are out for blood. And Sarah fears for her life. You okay, Sarah? I have water, man. Six actresses remain, but only one can be the next Scream Queen. This is weird, you guys. There's gonna be six of us. Oh my god, the suspense is always killing me here in this house. We're waiting for the girls to come back from elimination, and we're all just anticipating, like, who's it gonna be? Gabby Allison, Gabby Allison. You're the one who had two of the closest people to you in the house. Yeah. Go in the bottom. I know. Gabby is definitely my best friend in the house. She's been my best friend since day one. I'm scared she's gonna go home. Wait, oh my god. Holy wait, crap. Wait. Jessica. <sighs> God, it was really awful. Leading, Leading lady. lady. Of course. Good job. Congratulations. Congratulations. You want to go over there? Not really. They're like, you know, keep it up like you. Um, you, you have stepped it up, and now we expect more, even more from oh. you. Now that I'm leading lady, I feel like there's a lot of pressure. It's coming down to me setting the bar every week, and I can't mess up. What happened? It was, like, traumatizing. I felt like I was going to go home because it's the harshest criticism that I've received since being here. Gabby, I, I thought the director's challenge was horrible. Just horrible. What do you say? When I'm on, it's, like, magical, and yeah. then when I go away, it's just like, I would be so disappointing if I got hired on a film. You have a hard time focusing. That's the bottom line. And the technical crap. Did he mention the technical yeah. crap? Yeah. That's not something you just learn in a day. It takes time. I let myself get confused about all the technical stuff, like exactly where our marks are, but I have to find my consistency, otherwise I could go home. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. There's only six of you left, so that means we're getting even closer to one of you becoming our next Scream Queen and winning that coveted role in Saw 3D. This week, we're gonna explore something that's almost unique to horror, camp. Horror movies often straddle the line between ridiculous and terrifying, and often those lines can be really blurry. For today's skills test, you'll be playing a classic horror character, the zombie. Zombie roles have run the gamut from the genuinely terrifying zombies in 28 Days Later to the campy zombies in Dawn of the Dead to the intentionally funny flesh eaters in Zombieland. You'll have to choose which approach will work for you. In this challenge, you'll also be working with a lot of props and pyrotechnics. First, you'll be nailed into the coffin. Then, you'll punch through the coffin lid and escape to look for brains. Cross to the rock, which will be your mark. And at that point, you get shot twice, and that is your cue to die. We'll be fitting you with two squibs, which are basically like fake little blood bags that will explode and make it look like you've been shot. So, this is JD, guys. He's gonna be fitting you with the explosives, so make sure that you pay really close attention because they can be dangerous. You're each gonna get shot twice today, and while it sounds like a lot of fun, and you see a lot of the movies, there's a real element of danger in this. We're dealing with real explosives. This is something that can't be taken lightly. So while you're concentrating on your acting, you also need to be aware of your situation around you so that everything goes the way we plan. I've never been this close to an explosive, and it's going to be on my body. So I'm very cautious at this point. All right, guys, however you choose to play it, scary or silly, make a choice and make it interesting. Whoever does the best will win. 
my praise. Starting this week, there are no guaranteed callbacks. That means, guys, that from here on out, everyone is at risk of going home. No one is safe. So, good luck. Go off and be zombified, and I will see you back in a little bit. Thanks. These shirts that we're putting on actually have the squibs on them. That's it. And most of that's cardboard. But it's enough to puncture through the clothing. Now, what's protecting you is underneath the squib, we have a little metal disc. So there's no way that anything can get to you. It's difficult to focus on playing a zombie. When you have an explosive and it's on your body, it's like, these are precious goods here. Stay away from the boobies. You may feel a little bit of a slap just because it's not right up against your body. Okay. It's a little nerve wracking knowing that we're gonna have the squibs put on us. If you cover it a certain way, I mean, you can actually lose your hands or lose your fingers. So I'm kind of like, whoa, like, I don't wanna mess around and get my damn hand blown off. Okay, Jess, you're up. <sighs> I've never played a campy character. But my idea is just making it as real as possible so that it's still believable. <gasps> as they were drilling me shut, it was really scary. It was complete darkness. Action, Jessica! When that squib went off, it was so loud. I've never been so scared in my entire life. I felt she really got shot. And cut. Jessica chose to be the traditional, scary, gonna eat your brain zombie. She played it safe. And I think at this point in the competition, you can't do that and think you'll stand out. And action! I think it's time that I make a bold decision just so I'll get noticed. So I'm actually thinking of like a Wayne's World rocker dead guy who comes back to life. Oh! 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 I think Sarah is just taking a bold leap in the wrong direction to try and make a big impression, but it just didn't work at all. I think some of the girls tried to be serious, but it just came across as comedic. Okay, Ty, you're up. I know it's camp week, but then I also know that the funniest moments in camp are serious. So I'm not gonna try to be silly. Tie action! Initially